Hi, I'm Monty the Software Engineer, and in this video I wanted to go over some QML property bindings and a common mistake that happens when using them. So first, let's take a look at what a QML property binding is. Here, let's run my example application. It's just a blank, uh, cute, quick application. So let's go ahead and add a rectangle. ID, we'll call this background, and we'll fill the parent, anchor.fill, parent, and we'll do color black. For right now and then let's run that all right so now we can see here that we have a black rectangle and it fills the parent which is the window itself so what is a qml property binding so a qml property binding is a way to set a value of some property dynamically so the value of it changes based on some condition so let's go ahead and take a look at that so we'll do import cute quick we'll add a control here controls and let's add a checkbox. Checkbox ID, we'll just call it checkbox. Anchors.center in our parent. And now for the rectangle, instead of calling it black, we'll say uh, checkbox.checked. If it is, then we want to do black. Otherwise, let's say red. So here is a QML property binding. Uh, whenever the state of checked changes, it updates the color of this background. So when the value is checked, it'll be black. And when we uncheck it, it'll be red. Here we can see that the checkbox now is unchecked. So the background itself is red. But when we check it, it should turn black, which it did. And when we uncheck it, it turns back to red. So this QML property binding dynamically updates the color of the background depending on the condition of checkbox.checked. So that in and of itself is a property binding. Now, a common mistake with QML property bindings is breaking that binding. And let's take a look at what that looks like. So if we add a button, oops, we'll call it my button. And we'll put it in the center, uh, parent dot horizontal center, oops. And bottom, we'll put parent dot bottom with a margin of 10. And on clicked, we'll say we want to change the background dot color. There we go to blue and uh, that autocomplete there. Uh, I have GitHub Copilot enabled. Uh, I've been testing it out. I might do a video on that later, but it kind of does some uh, AI auto completion. So it thought that I wanted to change the color, uh, which I did. So uh, anyways, and what we've done with this button is we're setting the value of background.color to blue and this breaks the property binding. So let's take a look at what that does. Here I'm running the application. Oh, let's actually add some text to that. So we'll do text and let's see what uh, Copilot wants and it wants to change color, which is okay. So now we can see that the background is red. We click this, it's black. Uncheck it, it's back to red. But when we hit change color, it changes the background to blue and we've broken the property binding now. So if we click on this checkbox, we can see the uh, color no longer changes. So this is a very simple example of breaking the property binding that we've set. So in a large application, you may go ahead and change the property of uh, some component uh, and unintentionally break the property binding that you've set up. Luckily, there is a way with Qt to uh, debug out when you've broken property bindings. So let's take a look at how we can do that. So if we go to projects, so in our run here for build and run, if we go to our build environment, we add a new environment variable, cute logging rules like this, all caps. And the value is going to be cute.qml.binding.removal.info equals to true. All right. And let's go ahead and run it now. And if we check and uncheck, this is fine. But when we hit change color here, you can see in our debug out here, cute.qml.binding.removal, overriding binding on uh, our color. So what it says here is, hey, on line 31, you've broken your QML property binding for this uh, cute quick rectangle, uh, the color. So if we click on it, it brings us right to that line and we can see here that, oh wow, we did change uh, the color here and it has broken our uh, property binding. 
So depending on your application, you may actually want to uh, intentionally break a QML property binding in order to set the property to a particular value. But say you want to restore the property binding later on, let's go ahead and see how we can do that. So let's add another button. Oops. ID uh, restore button. And we'll add some anchors here. Let's do uh, the left is going to be my button dot right. And let's add a margin, left margin of 10. And then let's do parent dot bottom, oops. And bottom margin 10. Let's do text, restore color is good. And now in order to restore the property binding, you may want to do something like this. Uh, what GitHub Copilot is, um, suggesting but I don't believe this will work so let's go ahead and run that and check it out so here our red and black works fine we change the color with this button changes it to blue this is now not working anymore and restore color let's hit restore color it changes it to black but I believe if we update this yep it doesn't actually have the proper binding so what it does is it actually just sets this one time to the current value of what checked is but it doesn't create a property binding so what we want to do, instead of setting this one time to either black or red, depending on the state of uh, checkbox.checked at the time that we click this button, we want to restore the property value. So in order to do that, instead of this here, we'll remove this, we'll do cute.binding, and we'll add function. And now GitHub Copilot is suggesting this, which is correct, just like this. So this now says background.color, We'll set it to a cute property binding of uh, this right here, checkbox.checked. If it is checked, then black, otherwise it's false. So let's go ahead and test this out. Here we'll test out our initial uh, property binding, which works. Now let's change the color to blue and break the binding, which we can see here uh, in our debug. And if we check it out, we can see that the property binding has indeed been broken. Now let's try out the restore color, which should bring back the property binding. So we've hit restore color and it's black because checked, unchecked, it's red. So now here we've actually restored the property binding, which is exactly what we want. So that is QML property binding, uh, a common mistake with breaking the property binding, how to set an environment variable to uh, detect when we've broken our property bindings and then how to res actually restore the property binding here with this cute.binding uh, macro.